Uh, hi guys, we are back here, Club Safari, and uh, this is our front part of Safari. This is my gate. So, this is, uh, as you can see, there are no doors. This is the, this is my security gate. You can push it open. I don't have windows here. It's all very, very cozy, and got my Buddha protecting me. <laughs> there he is. Uh, so, now, but today I want to talk about something that is quite close to my heart, which is this whole notion that there is some kind of extermination campaign going on in South Africa. This is South Africa, by the way. Um, South Africa is a huge country, right, as you can see there. Actually, this, this yellow, the yellow part here, all this is called the Northern Cape province, which includes the Kalahari bordering on Botswana and Namibia here. And we are living, uh, my brother and my sister, my, my mother, sorry, uh, my brother and mother living here in Uppington. This province is the size of Germany, the country of Germany, and it's absolutely huge. I was born here in the Orange Free State in the northern part, Kronstadt, also another huge province. Um, and probably the population of uh, of Northern Cape and the Orange Free State. Orange Free State is, Free State is about the size of England, England, uh, and then this is about the size of Germany. If you combine the two populations, it would be like less than 10 million. You, know, you can see South Africa is a huge country. Major cities are few and far between. Cape Town, of course, Port Elizabeth, Durban, Johannesburg, Pretoria. These are basically your only major cities. There's a little city here in the middle of the country called Bloomsday, but the whole inner interior is basically empty, okay? A wilderness in some ways, or in many ways. Now, what about these claims? Oh, there we have another Buddha there looking down on us, or not looking down on us, I suppose. So, let me turn this around. So, these claims that, you know, hello there, this is me again. Frank Francois, frankly Frank. I'm gonna give you the truth today about this assumption that somehow there is a huge extermination campaign against white people in South Africa, you know. I mean, I see that racists and new Nazis and fascists, and I don't know what the, f uh, rednecks and what the fuck you call them all around the world now are calling and uniting. Oh, save the poor whites of South Africa. They're getting exterminated by these vicious black people. Woof, 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 woof. It's just fucking total bullshit, okay? Uh, so, the assumptions are so fucking insane. It's so crazy that you don't even know where to begin and where to end. And if you have to laugh from the, st from the beginning to the end. But let's, let's look at the, some, of the, some of these assumptions, okay? Thrown about by white supremacists and fucking new Nazis and KKK and all these fucking weirdos. Um, one, one idiot in South Africa, Steve Hofmeyer, he's, he's, some, he's the leader of the fucking morons. Uh, he, he said that, uh, you know, there are enough white people being murdered to fill up the, one of the, our, our biggest football stadium, you know, that, that can seat 100,000 people, shit like this, you know, and then the farmers are murdered and exterminated. The Bura word for Moor, Susflia, you know, skakak. Um, but what are the facts? What are the facts, okay? If you go uh, and you look at fact check, people who, whose job it is to check facts, okay, then you see that very quickly this whole fucking, uh, you know, pogrom pogrom, this extermination against whites, it's a total fucking wet dream. So the fact is that white people in South Africa are actually the safest population group, not only in Africa, South Africa, but probably in the whole world. I mean, compare that to Russia, US, all these countries. Um, the murder rate versus white people in all these countries are much higher than in South Africa. South Africa, white people are pretty much, uh, you know, well protected, pretty much safeguarded. Uh, they are very wealthy. They have good jobs. They have, uh, most of them have a pretty good education. 
So even those that live in fear, they can actually, they have the money to to pay for very good protection services, which in reality is very cheap. You can have a, a protection service for, for fucking, what, $20 a month or something like that, where they will show up at your house guaranteed within two minutes or several minutes. They'll be on your premise and investigating and taking care of whatever problem there may or may not be. Now, uh, black people in South Africa, the majority of them, don't have these kind of protection services, right? Although, okay, so let's quickly, I'm going to draw you a little map. Okay, I'll let me put this down here. I'm going to draw a little map quickly, uh, very fast. Hey, where's my marker? Ah. Uh, my blue marker. Okay, we're gonna draw a little pie chart of South Africa. Okay, this is supposedly South Africa, okay? Now, one quarter, 25%. 25% of South Africa reports around about 70 five percent of violent crime okay did you get that 25 percent of the country police precincts reports run about 75 percent of the violent crime now another 25 percent of the country has <coughs> we specifically look at murder murders because you know that's a very good standard 25% of the country uh, reports zero murders or less than the world average, okay? 25%, zero or less than the world average. Another 25% has around about the world average. Another 25% is slightly more uh, world average and more. So, but 25% of the country has an, has an incredible murder rate and violent crime rate, okay? Now, this 25%, this 25% of the country, where do you think it is? Do you think it's in some white suburb or the white suburbs, you know, Santon and all where all these rich white people live? Do you think this is where, where, the, where 75% of the fucking violent crime takes place? No. The white suburbs are here where there is zero fucking violent crime or very little, okay? Zero or very little. Um, okay, then the rest of the country is more or less the average for the world. Now, here, this is, this is the whole problem of South Africa. It's here in this, these areas, okay, which 100% is in very disadvantaged black or non-white areas. Ghettos, for short, okay? Where people are piss poor, very few jobs, high drug abuse, high alcohol abuse, okay, a lot of gangsters because that's what happens when there is very few jobs. People start to deal drugs, they start to commit crimes. They don't have jobs. What, what else are they going to do? And this is where the majority, the vast 75% of the fucking murders take place. And the majority, majority, vast majority of these murders are young black men, typically fucking in gangs, okay? So basically what we can say is the vast majority of violent crime in South Africa are gangsters, young gangsters, killing, killing each other for whatever fucking reason. Usually it's involving drinks and drugs and on a Friday and a Saturday night. These are the facts. These are the facts. Now. What about these white areas where we have seemingly almost very little crime? Do white people, do, do, don't they get murdered or do they get murdered? Yes, white people in South Africa also get murdered. Same as anywhere in the world, no matter which country you go. You go to Monaco or you go to Singapore or anywhere in the world, there are murders taking place. In same in white South Africa, which is affluent and rich, okay? By comparison to, to, the, to this area. Now, what are, what are the facts, the facts? about white murder. The first fact is that, just like in the rest of the world, 15%, 1, 5, 15%, in other words, 
85% of murders among the white population is committed by other whites. Vast majority by friends, family, business associates, close acquaintances, etc., etc., etc. Okay? 15%, one five, 15% are committed from the outside, violent crimes against the white people. 85 internally among themselves. And probably 75% of that is committed by your own family, by your own friends, by your own um, close acquaintances or whatever, business partners, your, your husband or your wife. These are typically where the crime happens in a white community, um, which is very normal, which is the same all over the world, which is probably the same in a, in a black community where all, a lot of these murders, uh, even in the ghettos, are people who know each other. They're in the same gang. They have uh, uh, disputes about drug, drug money or they get drunk or, or whatever, and they start shooting each other. Okay, or stabbing each other, whatever. So there you go. Now, what is the percentage uh, of, let me, uh, now the other interesting thing about all this uh, bullshit about white crime, you know, white people getting exterminated is that white people suffer, a, even by comparison, no, I mean not only by comparison, but by percentage, white people are, are about 10% of the population of South Africa, okay, 10%. But violent crime is like 2% or even less than 2%. Five times fucking less than, than it should be. Five times less than it should be. And then, but if you go to South Africa, you all, all the white people are crying. Oh, we're suffering crime. Oh my God, they want to kill us. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dudes? Have you ever traveled around the world? Have you ever fucking been in London or wherever? You know, these people live in a fucking dream world. Seriously. I mean, people in South Africa, white people have no clue of reality, okay? They, they read the fucking white press, the Afrikaans press, which only, each and every, there's like maybe one murder a week, and that gets fucking beaten to death. Especially, especially if this murder was committed by... A black person. Whew. Then they get the fucking mileage out of this fucking murder, right? But, which, as I just said, 85% of the fucking murders and violent crime in South Africa against white people is committed by other white people. Huge. I mean, there's a fucking long line of cases. I can just bring up. I mean, the most famous is this Pistorius dude, Oscar Pistorius, the Olympic athlete who shot his fucking own girlfriend in, in, her, in his own bathroom. This kind of crime, okay, this crime, this crime did make fucking world headlines, but this crime is, this kind of crime is common in South Africa. There are a long line of very, very, very sensational murders like this that took place, where fucking children killed their parents, parents killed their children. There's several of these cases pending now, where, where one member of the family decided to fucking shoot at everybody in the house, or, or hack them to death, or whatever. This, 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 these crimes are prevalent, but but the white media will take that one crime that's, uh, that happens outside this context and fucking beat it to death because that they know that will sell the news, right? So the white media is also really very irresponsible, very irresponsible with the news, okay? And they are actually, and then you have these fucking idiots like, like this fucking Hofmeier dude, you know, talking just fucking garbage. Pure lying. He should be. He should be thrown in jail for ten years, for for hate speech, for lying, for whatever. Okay, for being a fucking new Nazi or whatever, right? Or a KKK, because he is not doing South Africa a service in any fucking way. The white people were the ones that murdered blacks like flies. This this is a fact. Okay, I'm gonna. I can tell you right now. I know of several people that I. I some of them are friends that have murdered black people. I don't know a single fucking white person that has ever been murdered by a black person. I don't know one personally, okay? I'm not saying there are, but I don't know person. But I know white people who have murdered black people. Now, and I know white people who have assaulted black people, robbed them, stole from them. I have many, many, many personal experiences in that line, okay? But I know of very few of the opposite. 
very few. Okay, so white people and white fucking media in South Africa stop the fucking lying and the fucking bullshit. Okay, white people in South Africa is the safest white population group anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the fucking world. The most privileged, highest standard of living, and the safest. Okay, just fucking preach the truth next time. Okay, stop the fucking lying. Stop the bullshit. Okay, that's my message. Peace out.